Hello, windowsill gardeners and people curious about whether or not LED lights are effective. Uh, I wanted to show you my little tiny Tim Tomato setup that I have going here. Started at January 9th, today is March 9th, and I've had it growing under this 12 watt LED light. Now, I chose this light for my central choice. I got it from Amazon. Let me see if I can get some focus. There we go. Uh, I chose this light because it has two red spectrums. Now, the broader the spectrum, the better you're going to have fruiting. Um, these things over here, as you can see, I've got a few of them. They're, they're fine for your geranium or perhaps your African violet, you know, that kind of thing. But if you want anything to fruit, well, here, so you can see it better. Let me shut that light off. If you want something to fruit, you've got to have a broad spectrum. Now, as you're ooing and awing over the, all the little tomatoes, uh, let me tell you about Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim is an heirloom cultivar from 1945 out of the University of New Hampshire. It is heirloom because it is pre-1950, which is when they started genetically modifying foods in the lab rather than out in the field. So uh, if you're interested in a nice compact tomato for your windowsill that has, when they're ripe, these absolutely delicious little fruits, then Tiny Tim is the one you want to go for. Um, as you can see, I've just got a very simple hydroponic system set up. I got a, uh, actually two, I'll show you the other one in a second. I got two ice buckets from the thrift store, 50 cents a piece. I've got, a, let's start moving over here. I've got a fish tank bubbler with a splitter, one going to this one, and then one going to my new one. Now, all I did was oops, take my trusty, which I left over here, my trusty drill, keyhole saw, drilled. That was me drilling the hole. You don't need to see that. Um, and then I poked a hole on the top for the tubing to go down. And as you can see, we got lots of little bubbles in there. I've got this. Oops. Back over. There we go. I've got this air stone. Very inexpensive. And as you can see, it's doing a great job. Now, this will, let's see if you can see it or not. Whoops, too high. This air stone will actually pop little, little mists of moisture into the air, which is wonderful when you're doing uh, hydroponics, is to get that little misting action. So, anyway, that's that. That's how hard that was to put together. I'll put the top on like that. And then, little bathroom cup. Whoops. It'd be helpful if you could see it, huh? Wouldn't it? A little bathroom cup that I have cut the bottom off. Uh, these little pucks, they're actually called cloning collars. Um, I use a lot of them in my bigger grow room out in the back, so um, you know, it was easy for me, and you can get them in small quantities, but you can also use anything that's not going to absorb moisture. This is just a little piece of protective packing foam that uh, I, I had. Uh, I never throw anything useful away. So this can be cut down to size, a couple of layers, and you've got yourself a light proof, so hold that up so you can see it, uh, a light proof collar. So, I'm going to put my little cup into the hole, and I cannot see what I'm doing very well. Little cup in a hole. Boom. My little tiny Tim Tomato, which I cut from the sky a few weeks ago. Just stuck in some water to make sure it would root. 
That's a nice thing about tomatoes. You can pretty much just wave them over water and roots will pop out. So, but I do have a, a root structure started. Doesn't look that good yet. You wait. I'm going to pop it in the cup here. Push it down nice and tight. And I now have my next generation of tomatoes growing. Very simple. Very easy. You're going to love it.